All praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wabrakakwadash. Peace, blessings, and much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters as well. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. A lot of our people may get offended when they see these slave movies that come out, and the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai will put it on these Edomites. In the Hollywood industry to make particular movies to make particular films and at the end of the day our people they try to ignore it they cast it off as if well that was of the past let's move forward we need to get over that and the Lord is actually trying to get our people's attention but our people are not hearkening to the voice of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Coming back to your nationality, coming back to the ways of our forefathers, okay, you have to remember the days of old. You have to reflect on the past in order to know where to go in the future. Let's touch on Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 7. Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask the Father, and he will show thee, thy elders, and they will tell thee. So we have to remember, we have to ponder on the days of old. A lot of our people, all they want to do is reflect on the present and the future. They want to reflect on ways to get the bag. The Israelite men, they just want to reflect on getting the bag and chasing these women. These women want to reflect on getting the bag and uh, trying to use up men for it. That's what's going on in today's world. A lot of people today are not focused on righteousness. They're not focused on morality. They're not focused on what's right over what's wrong. People are about narcissism. People are into themselves. Okay? But we have to remember our past. We have to remember why we fell away from the Lord we have to remember who we were in terms of our identity as being the Lord's people we have to remember who our enemies are we have to remember what our enemies have done to us and still do to us to this day we have to remember the days of old and our people they don't see that as progressive our people never like to reflect on the past because a lot of our history has been, you know, tarnished by those who are in power. So a lot of our people don't see ourselves as being significant. Although you'll hear a lot of so-called black people say, you know, we're kings, we're the original people. But how because you hearing this truth doesn't draw you to return back. If you believe that you're the original people... Why wouldn't you cling to being an Israelite? That never made sense to me. Let's touch on Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the former things of old. For I am the power and there is none else. I am the power and there is none like me. So we have to remember the former things of old. Remember why we messed up. Remember why we got separated from our power remember that we are the Israelites we remember the the personality of the Lord remember the ways in which you should walk we have to reflect on the past in order for things to go right for us in our future if you don't know the past you're doomed to make the same mistake so we have to reflect on, you know, the past. 
Remember the former things of old, for I am the power and there is none else. I am the power and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. And guess what? Even us going into captivity, being captivated under the heathen, that was actually the Lord's pleasure because we went off. We broke the laws, statutes and commandments. And with doing that, we separated ourselves from our protector, our power. Okay? But our people are simple minded and they don't care. They don't want they don't want to reflect on why our people have been brought to the bottom of society. But the reason is the Lord is angry with us. Okay? And seeing that the Lord is angry with us, why is he angry with us? Because we caused it. We messed up. We are the ones, you know, reflecting on the past. We are the ones who broke the covenant, not him. We destroyed ourselves. The southern and the northern kingdom. We all went off. Okay? When you go to Hosea 13 and 9, it says this here. O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself. But in me is thine help. So not just the northern kingdom. You know, really all Israel has been destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And guess what? We destroyed ourselves. We went off for our inconsistencies and in following after the, the ways of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We went off and wanting to do things according to how we felt. And not based off what the Lord wants for us, seeing that he would know the best way for us. Okay, just like children who think they can outsmart the parent or think they can outsmart uh, the parents. Think that their way is better than what their parents have to come up with. A lot of our people see the ways of the Lord as some side mission. If nothing else works, then I'll turn to the Lord. Guess what? Nothing's work and you still don't turn to the Lord. That's why we reflect all the time. This is about the elect of the nation of Israel. And the Lord is raising up his men to shake the elect out of that sleep, out of that slumber. So that you can remember you are the Israelites. You are the Lord's people. The reason why you're in this predicament. Well, let's go to the past. How do we know that we're the Israelites? Let's go back to the past. You have to reflect on the days of old. This world will tell you that is not progressive, but that is the ways of this world. And again, our people have destroyed ourselves. Okay? Let's go to 2 Peter 3 and 1. This second epistle. Beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. And we have to remember. We have to remember that we are the Israelites. We have to remember the names of the Lord. We have to remember who our enemies are. We have to remember why we went into captivity. We have to remember that we were in captivity and unto this day we are still in captivity. And we understand those of us who are in the know. Most of our people, they just won't get it. Okay? And that's fine. But we still have to bring out the message. We still have to bring out the word. Okay? We have, you know, many videos, countless videos, explaining and expressing how we are the Israelites. Who our enemies are. You know, what happened to us in the past was actually biblical prophecy. And yet... Our people don't even want to consider because, <laughs> you know, the majority of our people are just stupid. Okay. And ultimately, because you don't have, you know, chains around your neck and chains around your ankle and you're able to, you know, clock in, clock out of your job or you might own a business, but you don't have no chains, no physical chains around you. You forget about the past. And that's not a good thing to do. Okay. 
Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach. I'm trying to think of where it is. What's that? 25, is it? 25. Let me see. Sirach, also known as the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 11 and verse 25. In the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. And in the day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. Look at these rappers. These rappers, a lot of times, before they blow up, you know, they ain't got no pot to piss in. They ain't got no car. They ain't got no job. They going from house to house, no place to stay. Or they, they came up in a household where, you know, their mom was a crackhead. Their, their dad was in the penitentiary or he was a pimp. Or they don't know who their dad is, right? But then, when they get placed in a position, all of a sudden... It's as if they never lived like that and they'll disrespect and insult someone else who's living in a poverty position. And poverty, you know, that's something that, you know, has you reflect, that keeps you humble. But when you're prospering, you forget about that, that poverty that you went through. If you're not right in the spirit, you'll forget about it. You'll become arrogant and you'll start treating others who are in the position that you once were in as if, you know, they losers, they need to figure it out. Okay. Or you just overlook it. Like it's not there. A lot of these celebrities know the majority of our people are destroyed, but in their mind, what's that got to do with me? Okay. Because they're prospering. So they're not really dwelling upon afflictions, but you have to reflect on the past and why our people are in this position. We're not sitting here to prosper. Okay, we were sent here to suffer punishment for our iniquities. And according to the scriptures, you know, this is not our rest. So it would be, you know, smart for all of us, whether we're prospering somewhat or maybe you're catching hell. Either or we have to reflect on the past. We have to reflect on why we are in this position, why our people are in this position. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close it there and give all thanks and praises unto our power. Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Shalom.